Welcome to this period workout. This is a great workout you can do in bed when you're on your period and you don't want to get out of bed. We are starting off with some toe taps. You're just going to gently tap your toes to your bed and just, you know, relax into it and control the motion. This is a very good move for your abs and it also works your legs a little bit since you're doing it slowly. It is so good. Just a few more seconds. Perfect. Next, we're going to do knee lifts. You just want to flip over to the side, gently lift your leg up, and then move your knee in front of you, just like you see me do. I know it can be so uncomfortable to work out when you're on your period, but you can still do this, and you are doing a good job just by trying. It might be uncomfortable to really keep your core engaged, but just do your best. You're doing your best. Awesome. You're going to then flip to the other side and do exactly the same motion. Just keep your core as engaged as you can. Lift your leg up to the side and then pull your knee in front of your body. You're doing good, keep going. Normally when you're on your period, you can really do any workout that feels comfortable for you. It's just that sometimes you just don't want to get out of bed. You just wanna stay under the covers, but you don't wanna lose your momentum. So this is a really good workout you can do. Keep going. Well done. If you can, I want you to get on all fours and you're going to do a donkey kick and then a triangle kick. You really want to control your leg as much as you can. This should be a smooth, gentle motion. Just do your best. If you need to take breaks, take breaks. The most important thing here is that you just make it to the end of the workout and you do your best. Good job. Perfect, now we're going to do the other leg as well. Remember to keep your core as engaged as you can, even if it's uncomfortable. Just do your best, just push through. You can do this, you're doing it. Good. Just a few more seconds. Perfect. Once that's done, I want you to try to do an elbow plank. Just do your best. Make sure your core is tight. Make sure your booty is not sagging and it's also not hiking up to the ceiling. Just do your best to maintain your balance. You're doing good, hang in there. You know, th this could be worse, you could be jumping, so at least you don't have to jump throughout this workout, right? Good job, keep going, just a few more seconds. Perfect. 
Now you get to flip back over to your back and raise one leg as you see me do and just gently roll that ankle. This exercise is so amazing. It works your abs, it works your legs, and it gives you a chance to really stretch out your ankles, which we never really do day to day. At least not me. I never stretch my ankles. It's going to start to burn, but you, you got this. You can do this. Just hang in there. Nicely done. Now, of course, you know what's coming next. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Just keep that leg extended in the air and roll your ankle. You might hear some popping sounds. That's just your joints trying to move. Be gentle. Good job. You have one more move after this and you get a break. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Awesome. The last move before the break, air cycles or horizontal running. <laughs> you are going to keep your core tight and just pretend you're riding a bike mid-air. You got this. Let's go. After this, you get a 30 second break. Not a lot, but it's a break. Good, good. Keep that core tight. Keep your lower back firmly in place and just cycle away. Go as fast as is comfortable for you and that will help get your heart rate up without you even having to get up. Almost there. Good job. You made it through the first half of the workout. Take some time to rest. Just think about life. Think about how amazing you are for working out even while on your period. Please take a second to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't done so already. And I'll be back in just a few seconds to finish this workout with you. All right, welcome back. We are starting off with arm rotation. So this requires you to sit up just a bit, cross your legs, and try to rotate your arms in a big circle, keeping your core tight. This will help work your upper body a little bit. Get those arms nice and toned. You know what I'm saying? This should be a controlled movement but a big circle. This really tones the arms really, really well. Good job. Keep going. Perfect. Still working those arms, we are going to do some arm scissors. You're going to glide your hands in front of you like a pair of scissors crossing and then extend them as far back as they will go. Try to keep your core tight to help you maintain your balance, especially if you're doing this on a bed that's soft. You really want your core to help you maintain your balance. You're doing good. Keep going. Just a few more seconds. Hang in there. Good job. Now you can flip back over to your back and we're going to go back into those ankle rolls again. Extend your leg and just roll your ankle. I am so impressed that you are working out even when you don't feel like getting out of bed. I know how hard it can be to get motivated, especially around that time of the month. So I feel you. I feel you, girl and I'm proud of you. Good job. All right, you're going to flip and do the other leg as well. 
try not to let your leg go too high or too low. Just keep it right there in the middle. Take a break if you need to, but just get back into it. You're doing good, keep going. Just a few more seconds, hang in there. Yes, 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 you did it, good job. We're going to go back to the first move we started with, the toe taps, core tight, lower back on the bed, and just gently tap your toes to the mattress. You're probably starting to feel this a little bit, right? Uh-huh. You're doing good, keep going. Less than 10 seconds. Good job. Next, we're going to do that plank, but now we're adding in a twist. This is one that might actually even help if you're bloated or if you're having cramps. Just the movement will may, may help you just a bit. So you wanna get into that plank position and just gently twist from side to side. You are going to feel so proud of yourself at the end of this workout. I'm already feeling proud of you. Keep going, you're doing good. You did it. Now we're going to flip back to your back and do those air cycles again. You want to keep your core tight, your lower back on the bed, and you want to move as quickly as is comfortable for you. You ready? Let's do it. This is your last move. After this, we just cool down and stretch a little bit and you're done. You can go take a nap. Keep going. You worked out today. Oh, you worked out today. Awesome. We're going to finish up with some tricep stretches. You're going to sit up and just gently pull your elbow toward your ear. That way you can stretch the back of your arms from all those arm rotations and arm scissors that we did earlier. Pull gently, not too hard. Just gently tug at it. Good. This should feel really good to your body. Shake it out, switch arms. Shake it out, switch arms again. Shake it all out. Next, we're going to do a hamstring stretch. You're going to sit cross-legged and you're just going to gently fold over and hug your knees. Go through your own range of motion. If your head can touch your knee, lay your head on your knee. Otherwise, just do what's comfortable for you. This really stretches the back of your thigh. Going to release and do the other side as well. After this, one more move and we're done. We're done. You're going to go back on your back, hug your knees to your chest and just gently rock from side to side. This feels so good. Just rock side to side, very gently. You deserve a hug. You do. Just breathe deeply, enjoy the moment, hug that knee. You have done amazing today. Just a few more seconds. 
and you're done. You worked out today. Look at you. Thank you for working out with me. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Follow me on Instagram and I'll see you in my next workout video.